When driving on gravel or dirt roads. A. Your tires grip the road better than when you are driving on pavement. B. Your tires do not have as much traction as they do on pavement, so you must slow down. C. Visibility is better than on pavement. B. Your tires do not have as much traction as they do on pavement, so you must slow down. Your tires do not have as much traction on loose gravel and dirt roads as they do on concrete and asphalt roads. When driving on gravel or dirt, you must slow down. It will take you much longer to stop and it is much easier to skid when turning. Taking drugs along with alcohol? A. Increases the risk of causing a crash. B. Is no more dangerous than consuming alcohol by itself. C. Lessens the effect of alcohol on your ability to drive. D. Has no effect on your general driving ability. A. Increases the risk of causing a crash. Drugs, including illegal, prescription, and over-the-counter medications, can affect your brain function and impair your ability to drive safely. Combining alcohol with other drugs will increase the risk of a crash. When approaching a steady red traffic light, drivers should A. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. B. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. C. Stop only if a police officer is nearby. D. Come to a complete stop. D. Come to a complete stop. A steady red traffic light indicates that drivers must come to a complete stop. Driving through a red light is against the law and is extremely dangerous. Drivers may turn right on a steady red light if there is no sign prohibiting a turn on red. What does alcohol do to your driving skills and judgment? A. It helps driving skills but harms your judgment. B. It harms both driving skills and judgment. C. It has no effect on either driving skills or judgment. D. It has no effect on judgment but it harms driving skills. B. It harms both driving skills and judgment. Alcohol negatively affects many skills needed for safe driving, including your reaction time and ability to see clearly. It can also harm your judgment of speed and distance, lower your inhibitions, and make you more prone to taking chances. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. In which of the following scenarios should your wheels not be pointed straight ahead? A. When waiting to make a left turn at a traffic light. B. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. C. When parked on the side of a level roadway where there is no curb. B. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. While waiting to turn left, keep your wheels pointed straight ahead until it is safe to start your turn. If a vehicle hits you from behind, this will prevent you from veering into oncoming traffic. When parked facing either uphill or downhill, turn the wheel so the vehicle will not roll into traffic if the brakes fail. This yellow sign means A. One lane ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. C. Lane ends ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. This sign warns of the possible presence of merging traffic. After stopping for a school bus that is unloading children, A. Do not proceed until the children wave to you. B. Watch for children walking along the side of the road. C. Accelerate quickly. D. Turn on your emergency flashers. B. Watch for children walking along the side of the road. 
After stopping for a school bus that has its stop arm extended and its lights flashing, watch for children walking along the side of the road. You should always drive with caution when driving near children. Pentagonal signs indicate A. No passing zones. B. School zones. C. Speed limits. D. Railroad crossings. B. School zones. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in a school zone. Be extra alert to children and pedestrians when driving near a school. This sign means A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. No U turn. A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. This sign indicates parking spaces that are reserved for vehicles displaying persons with disabilities license plates, disabled veteran license plates, and or disabled parking placards. To prevent hydroplaning, you should A. Ensure that your tires have good tread depth. B. Ensure that your tires are properly inflated. C. Reduce your speed when driving in the rain. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. To prevent hydroplaning, you should ensure that the tires on your vehicle have good tread depth and are inflated to the proper pressure. Reduce the speed of your vehicle when driving in the rain. Hydroplaning occurs most frequently at higher speeds. If you see this sign, you A. Must not pass another vehicle. B. May pass a slow-moving vehicle if you can do so quickly. C. May pass if you know the road ahead. D. May pass, but only at night. A. Must not pass another vehicle. Regulatory signs are white, rectangular signs with black markings. Drivers must obey the instructions posted on all regulatory signs. Where this sign is posted, it is prohibited for drivers to pass one another. You are driving on the roadway and hear a siren behind you. You should A. Stop where you are. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to get out of the way. D. Slow down. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle coming from behind your vehicle, you must create a clear path for the emergency vehicle and stop. Reduce your speed and safely pull over to the side of the road. If the emergency vehicle is directly behind your vehicle when you are in heavy traffic, keep moving slowly until you can get out of its way. Lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions are divided by fill in the blank lines A. White B. Red C. Black D. Yellow D. Yellow. Yellow lines are used to divide traffic moving in opposite directions. This road sign means A. No right turn. B. No U turns. C. No left turn. A. No right turn. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws and must be obeyed. Where this sign is posted, making a right turn is prohibited. What may help drivers conserve gasoline? A. Sitting in their driveways with their cars running. B. Accelerating quickly. C. Slowing down gradually. D. Braking abruptly. C. Slowing down gradually. Every time you have to stop quickly, it takes time and fuel to accelerate and get your vehicle back up to the speed of traffic.
Drivers who look far ahead of their vehicles can slow down gradually or change lanes to avoid unnecessary braking, leading to better gas mileage. If you are driving on the interstate and pass your exit, you should a. Quickly cut across traffic to make your turn. b. Make a U-turn to go back to the exit. c. Continue driving and use the next exit. d. Put your vehicle in reverse to go back to the exit. c. Continue driving and use the next exit. Don't make a last-minute turn into an exit. If you pass your exit, you must go to the next one. This yellow signs means A. The road ahead has many curves. B. There is a sharp curve in the road ahead. C. The road ahead may be slippery. C. The road ahead may be slippery. This sign indicates that the road ahead may be slippery when wet. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you should A. Speed up to avoid the emergency vehicle. B. Stop your vehicle immediately and prevent them from passing. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. D. Signal to the emergency vehicle when it is clear for them to pass you. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you must make every effort to give them a clear path of travel. If it is safe to do so, pull your vehicle to the side of the road to give the emergency vehicle an open pathway. A regulatory sign containing a red circle with a slash through the middle indicates a. that drivers should come to a complete stop b. that an action is forbidden c. that some drivers should yield to other drivers d. that drivers should drive under the speed limit b. that an action is forbidden Some regulatory signs prohibit certain actions. These signs are rectangular and white with red and black markings. A red circle and slash on top of a black symbol indicates that the specified action is forbidden. If pedestrians are illegally crossing in the middle of the street instead of in a crosswalk, you a. must stop for them. b. do not have to stop for them. c. should honk your horn at them. A. Must stop for them. You must yield to pedestrians at all times. If the pedestrians are jaywalking or crossing the street where they should not be, you must still stop for them. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means A. Passing on the left is permitted from either direction. B. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken line. C. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the solid line. D. Passing is not allowed from either direction. B. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken line. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means that passing is allowed from the lane on the side next to the broken line. When you hear a fire engine siren behind you, you must A. Slow down until it passes you. B. Drive with your flashers on. C. Pull over to the side of the road and stop. D. Speed up and take the nearest exit. C. Pull over to the side of the road and stop. When you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle, you must pull over to the curb or side of the road and stop. Which of the following lights indicates that you should slow down and proceed with caution at an intersection? A. A flashing yellow light. B. A flashing red light. C. A solid yellow light.
D. A solid red light. A. A flashing yellow light. A flashing yellow traffic light at an intersection indicates that drivers must slow down, proceed with caution, and be prepared to stop. To know where traffic is behind you? A. Frequently check your rear view mirror. B. Turn and look out your back window. C. Keep other vehicles out of your blind spots. A. Frequently check your rear view mirror. Drivers should check their rear view mirrors often to stay aware of the position of traffic behind them. From the center lane, which maneuvers can you perform? A. You may make left turns. B. You may make U turns. C. You may pass slow moving traffic. D. All of the above. A. You may make left turns. This sign indicates where a lane is reserved for the exclusive use of left turning vehicles from either direction. Such a lane may not be used for passing or for through traffic. An inattentive driver is a driver who a. stares at objects off the roadway or daydreams while driving. b. maintains eye contact during a conversation with a passenger while driving. c. only watches the vehicle ahead of their vehicle. d. all of the above. d. all of the above. Do not become distracted by looking at passengers, attempting to find something in your vehicle, looking at reading material, sightseeing, or daydreaming while driving. Continue scanning the road, checking your mirrors, and looking at the instrument panel at regular intervals. Developing these safe habits will keep you attentive as a driver. When approaching a flashing yellow light, drivers should a increase their speed b come to a complete stop c turn on their headlights d slow down and proceed with caution d slow down and proceed with caution a flashing yellow light warns of a hazard slow down and proceed with caution this sign indicates that a there is a steep hill ahead. B. No trucks are allowed on the upcoming hill. C. A logging road is ahead. A. There is a steep hill ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming steep hill. Drivers should slow down and be ready to control their speed and protect their brakes from damage. If you are continually being passed on the right and the left while driving in the center lane of an expressway, you should A. Stay in the center lane. B. Move to the lane on your right. C. Move to the lane on your left. B. Move to the lane on your right. If a road has four or more lanes with two-way traffic, drive in the right lanes unless you are passing or turning left. If you are on an interstate highway and are driving below the speed of the flow of traffic, use the right lane. How many alcoholic drinks does it take to affect your driving ability? A. 3. B. 2. C. 1. C. 1. It is not advisable to drive after drinking any amount of alcohol. Even a single drink will affect your ability to drive safely.